Yes, you are. Oh, okay. You're in the shot. Yes, you are in the shot. Hi, I'm Heinbach and I'm back with Alex Ball in his studio. Yesterday, Alex, you gave me a challenge. I did? I had to make a track in <laughs> 10 minutes on this beautiful monster of a synthesizer. But now it's time for me to give you a challenge. Okay. In this box, I've got a synthesizer, a processing instrument, which I like to describe as the Korg Triton of experimental music and i want you to make something with it okay. in 10 minutes <laughs> okay you want to open the box i do <laughs> I'm, I'm concerned oh come on <laughs> <laughs> this isn't fair <laughs> okay so this is a woodwork class right what we've set up here guitar and into these inputs we've also got your roland eb303 there's always got to be a roland something <laughs> This is so unfair. And action. <laughs> okay. So I take this guy out and go into one of these. And Okay, so that's feedback. So this is coming straight out of the stereo output somehow. Yes. Okay. So then I could take like a, that's an out. No, that's an in. Yeah. That's an out. Mm -hmm. And modulate something, but I don't. <laughs> okay. I'm gonna stack out my thingy into this one as well. The switches with no labels because I mean, why would there be labels? Modulate again something. Is that an in? Mm -hmm. I mean, oh. Okay, I've made the mutant cows from hell. Oh. Something's happening. Right, let's take a... Uh, where did I stick the envelope for? Let's take a, this guy and stick that in this one. Oh, that's doing something. this? How does that even work? The switches. Can I just use standard patch cables for... No, you need bananas. It's got to be bananas. So that's for me for cables then. So right, it ducks that.
<laughs> I'm not even doing anything. I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, uh, oh there we go. <laughs> there we go. Terrifying. <laughs> Absolutely terrifying. And I'm sure people who know how to use it are screaming at the screen. Not that one! That one! It took me years to learn it. It took you years to years. learn it, okay. Yeah, lots of rehearsal. So, Alex, what do you think of the Coco Quantos? I think this was not fair. <laughs> um, <laughs> because, I mean, nothing's labelled, uh, and it I, I was completely out of control of the thing. And, and the fact that it... I didn't know that audio... Well, I could tell that audio signals were ducking audio signals, but I didn't know why. And I didn't know that there was a middle position that stopped it doing that. That would have helped. And then, once you helped me and explained that these are like your little looper things, and this is your kind of modulation oscillator section, uh, we got somewhere. For me, this took a long time to learn. I, I basically I started the channel practicing on this instrument. Yeah. But the nice thing is, yeah, once you get all the things figured out a bit, it becomes so responsive because it has call and response built in. It's one of the few instruments that does that because of all the way the modulation can be inverted and normal. And then of course the ducking, which is a yeah. struggle to set up first. But once you got it, 
and then the envelope followers everything is meant to talk with, e with yeah. each other and funny to me is like that this is like this is like an older instrument i think like 10 years and the first one was like 15 years ago okay. but now all the new loopers that come out are using the techniques are uh, exploring similar techniques to this right one. i see so all the free unsynced stuff and like finding new ways to create interesting loops because the precision loopers i mean boss and electromonics they have that all nailed down yeah yeah so something like this is very a loop a, a free loop free looping free loop yeah there free we go. Loops. hippie looping <laughs> <All right. laughs> so there we go oh yeah, I think that's it for this video. Make sure that you watch me on Alex's channel try to wrestle with this monster. It's much better. <laughs> okay. Link is up here and after this video. And if you have any questions, do leave in the comments below. I won't answer them. <laughs> I'll have to look at that. Okay, thank you all for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.